Hey, what's going on guys? Today I brought back someone who I had on the channel a couple of months ago and the video absolutely went viral. And when I mean viral, I had so many people reaching out to me about the software, which is absolutely insane. But today was very different because we decided to pull somebody who's actually used the software and then obviously not just use it as a testimonial, but give you guys an actual layout of what it looks like to use the software. And I, I know a lot of people are struggling with generating leads and that's why I wanted to show you somebody who's actually gone through it and share his experience with every single one of you. And make sure you pay attention to this video because we brought this guy on to share his experience with you all. Make sure you pay 100% attention to this video. Again, without further ado, let's get right in. Hey, what's going on? I got Isaiah back with ProFlow and his client and a friend. I think he was one of the first people that tried uh, the system. Um, uh, you know, Justin, was it, was it Justin, bro? Yes, Justin. Yeah. So, hey, good to meet you, man. And, uh, also Isaiah, I like to have, bro. Hey, I, I really, I really like to have, yeah, I want, I want one. <laughs> I got you. I, got you. I, I got have you. a different, let's go. I have a different setup. I have a different setup this time. I'm in Miami. Do you want to see? I'm going to, uh, turn off this. So you, I can show you like kind of like the view. It's kind of like cloudy right now, but but it's kind of like you know it's pretty cool, yeah. right by the Venetian, the Venetian Islands. But yeah, it's uh, but that's awesome. So let's chop it up, man. Uh, if er everyone's that's been following me, obviously you you all know Isaiah. I I've had him on uh, on my YouTube channel, and they build an awesome platform called ProFlow, which helps solar professionals basically find leads which is one of the bottlenecks for a lot of people you know there's a lot of people that know how to sell but is there's not that very many people that know how to generate leads confidently they know how to put leads uh, uh, you know appointments on the calendar um every single week and so the reason why I, and this time i wanted to be a little bit different um and we wanted to get somebody who's actually tried the system and tried the software and can actually speak from experience. So that's why we got, we got Justin in the house. So Justin, tell us a little bit about your experience, bro. I know you were one of the first people um, that, that tried it. And what has been your experience with ProFlow? Um, how long have you been in solar? Just tell us a little bit about your story and then, and then we'll go with it. Yeah. So I got back into solar back in 2021. Um, we did mostly door to door where I was at. Um, so that's why I started in solar and I transitioned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of blood, a lot of sweat, tears, you laugh, you cried. Um, and, uh, but I transitioned to virtual um, over the last year. So, um, how I use ProFlow is I'll go and pretty much cherry pick areas that I want to install in where I know mm -hmm. the utility company and I know how much they're paying. And especially if I have like sales in the area, then I want to use that neighborhood for as long as I can. So right. um, I'll typically just circle the areas that I want to go to. There are some certain like um, certain installers do mobile home parks to qualify if they have good roof and good foundation. And I know that those areas are a bit less um, talk to so I'll just circle those areas and then I'll I have my own CRM and, and dialer where I work and so I just put all that information all that scrape data into there and call them knowing that if I can get them on the phone and in front for a presentation that's going to make a lot of sense I already know how much they're paying and I know that I have sales in that area that I just continually just work okay okay so those are like individual areas that that you decide you want to you want to scrape um, that you're doing business in already you scrape those areas and you, you just continue to work the area. Oh yeah. Area. Is that kind of like how you do yeah, it? Yeah, I, I do mostly yeah. like the northeast, some of the Midwest and Illinois. Uh, those areas are really really cool. virtual right now. Uh, we're going to have some Yeah, cuz not not very many people are hitting uh, hitting those areas, right? No. So. No, especially uh Illinois right now is really really good. Um it's going to be a bit tougher to install in the winter. So and in the summer yeah. then to California, uh Arizona, mm -hmm. Florida. 
uh, for those installs. Um, but yeah. Awesome. Well, cool, man. So for anyone just like wondering, what do you, what is your, what are the typical, like, how do you, like you scrape the leads, mm -hmm. like how, like what's the amount of leads that, that you're looking to uh, pump through the dialer and what's the kind of like the expectations because for, for somebody who's never used a mm -hmm. system, like this type of system before this type of software, uh, or any type of, you know, cold calling, uh, or anything else like that. Um, they don't know what to expect. And a lot of times what I've noticed is that people get frustrated because they have the wrong expectations. So yeah. I, I want, I want obviously people to have the right expectations and um, you know, obviously it works in the, that's the reason why we're all here, but, yeah. but, can you can you like set set the record straight? Like what what's kind of like your expectations when you when you scrape and when you when you dial through these leads? Yeah. So really, it's a way, especially if you're just getting into the industry, it's a way to get very affordable raw data. And so I I've, I've done cold calling for years, and that's what it's going to be whenever you put in the dialer. So you need a list of for one person. I would typically work anywhere between like 500 names and emails and phone numbers. Okay. Thousand in a given week and you have to have a okay. system in place where you can um, call the leads have a, have a good dialer set up and if you roll through you know 500 to a thousand names in a given area depending on the area um, i would expect i mean if you're just one person going through that data you can set anywhere between 15 to 30 appointments in a week mm -hmm. as long as you work hard and right. with that information then especially once you start getting sales in that area, I just rerun that same list, you know, introduce myself okay. as a specialist in that area. That's worked with a lot of people. And so like, I know a lot of like industries like turn and burn, especially with cold calling. Um, but I've seen a lot of one more effectiveness actually staying in a given area and just working that um, uploading all the lists, like put it all into one um, CRM. Cause you script a few hundred at a mm -hmm. time, put it all into one probably takes you like maybe 30 minutes. And then you okay. use that and then you're good to go for the whole week. So you set it up on Monday, right. you scrape all the names, put it to the dialer, work that system and, and just do your thing. You know, once, you know, getting the amount of getting pitches out in front of as many people as you can, obviously will lead to more success. I think that's, that's really, right, right. you know, I, I, I hear people, you know, I, I see guys on Facebook, like Jesse Brower, shout out to that guy. He's always saying, you know, if you're going to buy a list from me and you're only going to call it once or twice, like, fuck off, don't buy my list. Um, <laughs> and it really, yeah, 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 dude. People who are successful in this industry, the people who are actually out there and able to make sales, they're not just calling the list one time. Because if you call, you know, if you get a call from one number one time, you, you know, and you don't have that number saved and they don't text you, they never call you again, you're just going to look at that and you're going to be like, uh, yeah, but probably a missed dial. And you're never going to think about it again. And so if that's your strategy, if your strategy is just call them one time, not reaching out to them, you're not going to see success. I think what, you know, Justin's saying is absolutely gold. Like you, you get those 500 to a thousand for the week and that's the list that you work for that week. You know, you don't turn and burn them. You don't just power through it one time, but you know, you're actually calling these contacts multiple times, reaching out multiple times. Um, so that you're mm -hmm. actually positive responses. Yeah. Okay. So what, what, what would be like, can you, talk us through kind of like uh it, you know i know we talked about expectations but like what would be kind of like an average lead to appointment ratio uh in terms of like what what's the amount of people that that turn into leads out of let's say a list of a thousand on any given week i know it, it can differ because uh, you know every neighborhood's different but what would you say is like kind of like the ballpark and then also uh going back to expectations again what like even if it's not you i don't know if it's you dialing the leads but like, it how me. long yeah. does it take <laughs> yeah, yeah. To... oh it I, is I you damn I dude myself. yeah awesome bro. Pro so man. how long does Self yeah so so on average how long does it take you to to like get an appointment is it is it you know yeah. uh, uh an appointment a day a couple of appointments a day like what what how, like what do you consider a good day if you have yeah. once a you list dial in your process you, you should be able to crank out an appointment an hour and a sit oh, rate wow. that's, that's going to be a good goal would be 30% sit rate over the phone. Okay. Okay. Um, because if you're cranking out, so if you 
dedicate. And so what I recommend you do is you start in the morning. Like I said, on, on Monday, you, you do like, even if, if it's, if you're brand new to the system, it takes a couple hours to get everything set up for that week. You wake up early yeah. on Monday, you have that list ready. It's already loaded. And if you crank out four hours, you know, of, of just calling, whether it's you or whether it's um, someone you have setting for you, they should be able to crank out okay. three to four appointments um, once they have like their system and, and uh, everything dialed in. And then if wow. you have four appointments over five days, you have 20 appointments. And if you only have 30% show from those 20 appointments, I mean, you're having, you know, four to five presentations per week. I mean, that's going to be, you know, two to four sales, assuming they qualify, uh, like based on, because wow. you already have like their credit is good to go, you know, their homeowner, uh, once you like filter down that data. And so at that point, you're speaking to homeowners 90% of the time. And um, that should be the, a good metric to hit. If you know per setter, you can definitely crank out two to three appointments safely um, that close per week. Well, and one that's of the, in, that's that's good, man. That's good. One of the things that's most impressive to me is, and, and you know, I've I've been in solar for a minute, and I've done my fair share of virtual closes. But Justin has these people; they're not doing a Zoom; they're just on the phone, and he's got them signing docs in about twenty-five to thirty minutes. Um, and so that, I, I don't know, maybe you've got to have him on and do a video just without me, just about his closing process. Because I think that in and of itself is insane. Because when he told me that, that like, you know, obviously he gets the first call, he gets the set, and then he calls him back. But it's like a 25, 30 minute close and he's got them signing documents. To me, like, I know there's guys out there, I've heard of guys that can do that, but I've never really seen it. But this guy's just a juggernaut. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Yeah, maybe we can have you on the channel, bro. Yeah. Yeah, totally, uh, dude. So, uh, that's cool man so all right so so wow that's that's pretty good that's like, actually like really really good so if you if you let's say you know uh you know if you do you also do like all the scraping yourself oh yeah, yeah. You, wow so you do the scraping and the dialing and everything else wow so the the uh, are you using kind of like a power dialer where it dials multiple people at the same time? Like, how do you work the list? Yeah. So, so the company that I work for, we have our own power dialer in, in, in CRM. So I just import the data in there. Um, okay. And we use that system um, pretty much every day as far, as far as cold calling goes. I have a list, mm -hmm. put into the dialer. We work it just like normal. Um, just like as if you were like buying, you know, buying data from someone else and putting it in there. That's exactly what I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would have, I would imagine, like different phone numbers. You'd hit them up with text, email, whatever, just multiple touches until yeah. until they 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 respond. What what I do is what I recommend is you just call the list, like call the list the first time through, see what answers you get. You know, then you can do a second run. This time you're sending texts. Um, if they don't okay. pick up on you know the second call through, most of the time I'd say like your average person will pick up you know, after the second or third consecutive ring. Um, okay you know, the first two or three texts, if they're ever going to respond, you know? Okay. Okay, dude, that's, that's insane. That's pretty good. But everyone listening, like you guys, I mean, you don't have to spend thousands of dollars a month. Like this software is cheap, you know, in comparison to what, what it can get you. So, cause I have a lot of people that ask me, what does it cost, you know, to get started in solar? And I always say like, listen, your biggest cost is always going to be lead gen. Okay. If you want to do remote selling, if you don't have sweat equity involved, which is time, effort, and energy, you're going to have equity, which is your money, essentially, right? And that's how you're going to put, you know, people on the calendar. And um, the biggest cost will always be leads. And yeah. so, you know, for, especially for people that are starting out, I definitely would recommend, uh, you know, your software because I know it works. I've seen it first time. Now Justin comes on and, you know, uh, you know, walk us through obviously his success, and and that's pretty cool. That's awesome, honestly. Do you have any tips for someone who's starting out, bro? Like anyone who's like on the fence, or like I don't know if I want to do this. Is it like time consuming? Is it you know? Is it worth for me to do something else? Um, what tips would you have for someone who's on the fence? Yeah, especially if they're first starting out. The thing with the software is that it's incredibly cost effective to get these leads. I mean. I know some people that will spend, you know, tens of thousands of dollars on lists mm. and leads and between them. And, and sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. Um, but mm. this is like a proven thing. Like if you 
um, especially if you're doing this virtually, like you, you don't have to like quit your current job to, to just go full bore into solar. You can do it while you're doing whatever else you're doing. And so this just gives you a super low entry opportunity. If you want to go in, scrape the leads, put them into a list and have some sort of dialer, even if you're just calling a few lines at a time. Um, that's really all you do just to see, just see if it works. I mean, it's like, it's 200 bucks a month. So you go into it and you put in the work, you're going to get a return on your investment. Um, the only way you mm -hmm. wouldn't is if you got it and then you didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. <laughs> no, I, no, for sure. For sure. Have you thought about that? It's, and it, to me, dude, it's definitely, I mean, it's still work, obviously, but it's still easier than going out uh, in the blazing sun, you know, knocking doors. Yeah. Like, to me, it's it's always going to be easier than that. Yeah, you're so, just, just calling her from the AC, you know, you could like be dude, eating stuff and do it. Like, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and then spit your food out as someone answers, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, <I'm> like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just don't be especially um, if you're first starting out, like don't be discouraged. Uh, because obviously it's cold calling. So you're you're gonna get clicked. Um, mm. but especially when you're first starting out, I mean, there you're looking for just like the easy, you know, soft sales, like people that know, you know, want want solar or are have been thinking about it, pay a lot in electricity. That's who you're gonna be going for. And so mm. it's it's really easy, just like be like transparent, like, hey, this is who I am. We're working with X utility company, your solar project. We have you guys using X utility companies that correct is at your address. And then you just be open with them, you know, and people that say, I don't want solar, just move on to the next one because you have just so many names. If you just stay consistent, mm. just, it's literally quantity, especially first starting out, you'll find people that are like, yeah, I pay like $600 you know, for electricity. And then those are people that would really, really benefit from solar anyways. I think that's something that might my... Right, wow. Says that I learned from him, like every single no gets you closer to that next yes. And I think, you know, in cold calling, door knocking is all the same thing. And if you can keep that mentality, mm -hmm. you're not getting paid for the yeses. You're not getting paid for the sets. You're getting paid to take the rejection. Like that's the reason that salespeople make so much damn money. It's not because, you know, they go out there and they get the yeses. Like a brochure can go out and get a yes. Um, yeah. They're out there, you know, they're on the phones, they're putting in the time dialing, they're putting their knuckles to the doors, whatever it might be to get those no's and to deal with that rejection. Because most people just can't deal with rejection. I mean, we, it's a natural human thing. We hate rejection. Um, mm. That's why the money is in sales. And that's why, you know, you've got guys out there that are so successful because they're getting paid for the no's and they know that that's why they're getting paid what they're, you know, what they're making. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty cool, man. But that's awesome. So you would go into utilities that you you know or you researched, and then you scrape those areas, and then that's kind of like part of your pitch. Is that right? Oh yeah, yeah. I just don't. It's it's literally you know so simple. Like you're just buying cheaper power. Like you can you know you're right. part of a relationship with the utility company, and if you're spending x if you're spending x amount like less than x amount, it's not gonna benefit you. If you if you're spending more then it will. And we'll, we'll run qualifications to see what you qualify for. Um, mm. It's really that simple. And if you take the mentality of, I'm just going to get one, get my first one, prove to myself that it's possible. Then the mentality going into it is way different because right. you know, can't this happen? Like, no, it can happen. People answer the phone, you know, without putting in information for, you know, for a, a solar proposal request, you know, you can call cold data, mm. you can get them to schedule an appointment and you can also get them, um, you know, signed up and qualify for solar. I mean, it, it is possible. Mm. So if you just put in the time, um, there's literally no reason why you can't, you know, a hundred X your, your investment for ProFlow just through lead gen. Right. We're starting out. It's completely right. Wrong. No, for sure. And um, how do you, like, do you, I know that the, the software itself, like has like a cleaning, uh, sort of like a, it, it cleans the list. It has that uh, uh, option. But how do you like? What's the process when you scrape when you scrape a list of people, a list of leads? Do you put them through? Because a lot of people have been asking about. I haven't like we we called called in the past, but I, I never really worried about that. Yeah. So what do you do with? Because uh, there's a lot of people like oh you know there's litigators and things like that. So what do you like? What what's your thought on that? Because there's a lot of people. I think I don't know if they're allowed, but there's 
definitely quite a few who um, who've heard about those litigators and 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 they're kind of like uh, yeah. it's not even the money it's it's kind of like the um uh they're scared like they don't yes. know how to approach this so what, what do you say about the litigator situation this is totally fair which i 100 recommend i don't know if you um like tell people this but you i run it through landline remover okay. because it scrapes against the do not call and removes litigators and i've never had an issue with it there's no i've never had someone like oh we're gonna, we're gonna sue you um and so it, whatever if you already have a scraper that works for you keep on using that but i remember it was really cheap uh so yeah yeah yeah. it's it's pretty cheap yeah you know i think isaiah's working on obviously uh what do you call it putting together like the the videos and things like that that shows how to how to clean yeah. the list and everything so yeah. people are going to have like the whole that um, the video on the whole list of is actually i think already up on our website oh really i believe so the, the tutorial oh, cool. this cleaning i believe that that one's already up um and i literally walk people through you know scraping cleaning the list removing the litigators removing the dnc mm. um because that and, and honestly that's one of the things that we do on our demos quite frequently and then as well you know since we last met we you know our company's been growing exponentially we actually have an entire onboarding team now um, dedicated to providing better customer service and just you know, an overall imp- you know, just better experience using the software. Um, and one of the things that they do is they really, you know, they stress from making sure that people know how to use landline or they know how to clean their data um, as well as helping out with, you know, and this is a newer issue, but the, the 10 DLC A2P registration um, that a lot of people have been having fun with, with the new Twilio guidelines and, reckon- or, and, and requirements. Um, so we've been working, you know, pretty hard to make sure that our clients are still able to reach people, you know, that they're, they're informed about what's going on and they know, you know, you know, and, and not that there's a ton of risk, but then, you know, anytime that you're going to cold call, there is going to be a little bit of risk, you know, maybe landline remover, you know, misses a litigator, you know, and, and it doesn't happen very often. I don't think, like, I know that they update their database every 24 to 48 hours, which is why I use them and why I recommend them so hardly. But mm-hmm. the risk is, you know, to, to quote Oppenheimer, you know, the risk is, is near zero. Like it, it's never going to be zero, but, it, you know, it's close enough that, you know, we're, we're going we're gonna to send it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. And I just wanted to address this because a lot of people um, are probably thinking about this. They're like, oh, you know, they associate cold calling with like a lot of risk. When in reality, there's not a lot of risk. If you do it right, I mean, I would introduce there, yourself because sm- I introduced myself as like, as like, me, my, my person, like, hey, I'm Justin, a solar specialist in your area. Um, and, and people don't have a problem with that. I mean, if you're just being genuine and they say, hey, not interested, you feel free. You don't have to fight them on the phone. You can just go to the next person because you have so much data. You're going to the person like, yeah, actually, I have been looking at solar. Uh, so you're not like, right. you're not like, combat and like fight with these people or anything things like that. Just introduce yourself as you're a solar specialist. And, um, you know, we work with XX company for, uh, you know, qualifying for solar stations in your area. And um, especially, mm-hmm. you know, scraping it. I have run into a problem with it um, in cold calling. I, I, you know, in general, over, over my years of cold calling, of course, we run into people here and there. They're like, oh, we're going to see you. I've never seen it. I don't, uh, right. I don't worry about it. But it definitely is. I mean, like, it's not that easy. I mean, it's, to be honest, like, it, it's not that easy to sue to sue people. Like, it's, it's just, uh, even though some of these litigators are, uh, are pros at doing this, like, it's not that easy to, you know, like people are making it out to 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 be like it's super easy to do that and it's not, you know. Well, and the other thing is, you know, we've been doing this business for you know quite a while now. We've got you know a pretty vast you know number of users using the software, and, and the reality is, is you know because Twilio does all of our fulfillment. You know, that's not a secret. They're doing our text, they're doing our phone calls, um, and one of the things that that you know, if if one of our users gets shut down by Twilio, I get a notification. Out of the hundreds of users that we've had since we started this business, we've had one person where Twilio notified me and said, hey, we're not going to send this guy his messages anymore. We're not going to fulfill his calls anymore because he violated like the FTC requirements or whatever. And the guy wouldn't change his messaging. And what he did was he literally just removed the opt out from the text messages and he wasn't DNDing people. Like when people were saying, you know, hey, remove me, he wasn't respecting that. And so that's, you know, oh, okay. that's, weird. that's the one issue that we've had. And so, you know, a lot of our campaigns, they have that pre-built, you know, reply to to opt out. 
don't take mm. those out. You know, it's one of the few things I tell people, you can edit the campaigns, change the wording, you know, remove things. But if you see reply to to opt out, that one is there for a reason because we have to provide those opt outs so that you're staying compliant and you're not, you know, getting in trouble because that's literally in the last year, the only account that we've had that has had any type of wow. issue that has stopped servicing that guy. And we just had to say, you know, Hey, I'm sorry, but we can't, we can't have you as a client anymore. That's huge value, bro. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. Now, would you, Justin, I want to, I want to come back to you. Like, would you say, I mean, obviously you're doing this yourself now. Like what, I mean, you know, at some point, are you thinking of hiring maybe like VAs to do this, to do some, some parts of the process for you? Like, oh yeah. What are you yeah. thinking about? I'm already in the process of that. Um, okay. Just to take my time off the phones and onto actually closing appointments. Um, but just on your own, it's incredibly valuable. If you want to work hard and you know you have a good schedule set, just one person can make a lot uh, of money just doing it by themselves. Uh, but that's definitely like the next step. Like once you're comfortable with it, hiring out um, people to do the setting, just increasing your volume, definitely recommend. Awesome, man. Uh, well, I enjoyed having you having you guys on. Uh, next time you see me, we're probably gonna be. Uh, chopping it up with Isaiah. He's going to be giving you kind of like the what's going on, uh, you know, in the new things with ProFlow. Yes, and, uh, you know, I can't wait for everyone to take advantage of ProFlow and just try it out and test the geo farming feature and, and just have lots of success with it. Because as you can see, I mean, Justin is a prime example of what's possible if you actually put in the time, put in the effort and, and, and you do what's necessary. You win. You win at the end. So do you have any last words, both of you, before we end this? Go pro flow, baby. <laughs> yes, go. <laughs> awesome. I well, appreciate you guys. Thank you so hey, much. Me, yeah. All right, we're back. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got value from Justin's experience using ProFlow. Listen, if you're on the fence of using ProFlow, that's one of the most inexpensive ways for you to start in solar. And that's one of the most inexpensive ways for you to generate leads. Literally, you heard what it takes. I asked them the hard questions. So don't procrastinate if that's you. If you wanna try it out, go ahead and try it out. There's no contracts or anything else like that. Try the geofarming feature. I know for a fact, it's gonna help you out. You'll be able to find the link in the description down below. And let me know how you like it down in the comments. And if you wanna work with me one on one to get your solar business off the ground, selling remotely, achieving location independence, and finally getting to get, live in the good life, then hit me up on IG. Okay, appreciate you guys. See you again in the next one.